Heinen Tangen joins me now from Beijing. He's a political and economic affairs commentator. Thank you very much for your time, Aina. Now, Defence Chief Wei will make a keynote address on Sunday. What might we expect to hear in the minister's speech, do you think? Well, I, I think there will be some response to Lloyd Austin's uh, speech. I mean, uh, Austin was all about, uh, you know, communications, Taiwan, Russia, and status quo. Uh, I, th I think you can expect way to just be very firm, as they were in their private conversation about Taiwan, uh, expressing uh, as the delegation, uh, you know, you previously reported on the Chinese delegation, and it's just that these are unfounded accusations. Uh, there's a lot of feeling, I think, that the U.S. is accusing China of doing exactly what it has been doing and intends to do. Uh, so there's a certain amount of what they see as hypocrisy here. Uh, but uh, the Chinese delegation is treading very, very carefully. Um, everyone is trying to uh, remain restrained, especially amidst these um, you know, allegations, uh, you know, saying that China is coercive and uh, aggressive. Of course, here in the United States, we have one or several sources of media, but from a particular perspective, what has been the reaction within China in regards to the U.S. military chief's comments stating that Beijing is trying to change the status quo in, in Taiwan? Well, there's just a sense of irony. I mean, it, it, from the you know, Chinese side, you know, if Lloyd Austin talks about changing the status quo, but when you start looking at the ramped up military sales and tens of billions of dollars over these last years, uh, the in enhanced engagement, the direct communications between high-level uh, American officials and Taiwan, uh, trying to push Taiwan into uh, United Nations uh, groups, uh, actively, uh, you know, fanning what uh, Taiwan, uh, Beijing sees as this kind of separatism, while at the same time claiming that it's all China. So, uh, yes, I mean, there, there's this real sense of what is, you know, the, the U.S. doing, why does it not seem to be able to reflect on its actions, and what does this all mean in terms of future, uh, you know, the actions by the U.S.? It's not surprising, I suppose, that the issue of Taiwan took up the bulk of the meeting between Austin and Wei. Both sides mildly stated that it was constructive discussion. Do you think it's more likely that that was more of a polite way of saying that there was little outcome, the same sticking points remain, especially given with this shared knowledge that, you know, 120 million US dollars arms sale uh, to the island is on its way? So I think you hit it uh, right on the point. Uh, there's, there's, everyone's trying to be somewhat polite, although the ra rhetoric was quite highly ramped up, especially from the U.S. side. Uh, we'll have to see what Wei says. Uh, at this juncture, I mean, it, things are on tender hooks. Remember, World War I was all about avoiding war. Uh, and this seems to be following somewhat of the same pattern. Uh, the U.S. And, and China see each as the aggressor. Uh, the U.S., obviously, from a Chinese perspective, is the real aggressor. Uh, China is responding, trying to send warnings, uh, and it's not having this effect as desired. Uh, so it's, it's hard to see how they can get, you know, this kind of find an off-ramp from this. Uh, China is interested in less uh, provocative engagements. The U.S. is talking about how to have provocative engagements with guardrails. It really sums it up. Now, of course, Taiwan has been the big, big headline issue that both sides have been responding to, that media outlets have been covering. But are there any other issues that the broader public need to know or watch out for, especially given rising inflation and the fears that a recession is headed our way? Well, you know, that, that's one of the, the, the issues that uh, underlies this. Uh, you know, from China's perspective, the uh, U.S. Uh, pushed Russia into a war over Ukraine. Uh, you know, I don't know how many uh, of the, uh, you know, august political uh, forefathers of, of uh, you know, Russian diplomacy from the U.S. have said that going into Ukraine means war. And that includes the current, secret, uh, current uh, head of the CIA, uh, Casey. Uh, he said that 10 years ago. So uh, China is scratching ahead. What exactly does the U.S. Uh, intend to do? And it's, it's very, you know, the, all the delegations on orders to remain very calm, uh, given this kind of unknown, which, uh, which is going forward. But yeah, I mean, the, the big issue is inflation, uh, food insecurity, energy shortages. This could lead to civil unrest and strife. Uh, in this particular regard, uh, 
Uh, the president of Ukraine's uh, last comment is correct uh, mm -hmm. about uh, political instability and the costs that are going to be uh, to the rest of the U.S. I mean, rest of the world. Ina, thank you so much for your time. Ina Tang in there, political and economic affairs commentator in Beijing.